Hi guys. guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we have a different video and a lot of people ask us and you get this question a lot if you're from the LGBTQIA plus community and that is why do we need Pride Month and we're going to show you why. So we just want to do a quick disclaimer that we do not want the person involved in this video to get any hate anything like that at all it is simply we're doing this for educational purposes and it is something that we have experienced we are going to be blurring out their face we're not going to be showing anything to do with them or give any indication of who they could possibly be we just want you guys to see this video and know that this is something we've experienced and sadly a lot of other people within our community have experienced so before we go into what happened on the day we're going to give you a bit of context. We were being harassed by these people for multiple months. Yeah, they were doing multiple different things. So when we say harassed, we mean by intimidation. We would be stared at. We would be feeling very intimidated. They would mm. give us like horrible remarks every single time we saw them. It wasn't like, um, you know, hurting us physically. No, it or anything. wasn't anything like that. It was more so like verbal and like emotionally. Yeah. So this event occurred at the end of Pride Month. Yes, it happened in Pride Month, which should be a month of celebrating and sharing, spreading awareness of the LGBT community. Um, but instead. Um, this happened. <laughs> so we are now going to insert the clip that we are talking about. And they're staring at me right now, like proper staring. Like I wish I could show you, but if I show you then they're going to like go mad. And they're staring at me. And she just said, and she just said, isn't there a mental hospital? That's her. She just said, isn't there a mental hospital? Aren't you from it? Caitlin, yeah? I was just vlogging and I got it on camera. Yeah. She said, isn't there a mental hospital from here? Aren't you from it? Really? Yeah. Go on, do it now, turn it on. Okay, I'm well. That was proof. Oh, you've just done it yourself. You would, that was proof that you start on us because we weren't bothering you and you said, Isn't there a mental hospital? That was proof. We've got proof now. Proof. Yeah, we've got the proof. I didn't say her name. She said that Leah needs to go to a mental hospital because she's in the boot. I've got it all on camera. Please don't keep going on up here because I have to report on You! Because you've been everything. You're not allowing them to be themselves. Leave them alone. You must be very bored. Leave them alone. Anything like that. Well, I was filming myself you and you should see it. That and I've got because we've got proof now. You just I was doing my own business and you said you need to go to a mental health hospital. That's a disgusting thing to what say. I we suffer from mental. A mental hospital here. That's disgusting. Making out I'm mentally ill for sitting in the boot. That's really horrible. You should know better. You should know better. So well, that's got no nothing to do that's with really you. What a we horrible, do. Horrible, nasty thing to say to two young girls who have completely yeah, ignored you. Yeah, Absolutely disgusting. She's sitting Absolutely in the boot. What's disgusting. it got to do with you? Disgusting. disgusting. So I'm taking it. You have all watched that, and I just want to alliterate again. We do not want this person to get any hate. We have blurred out their face. We've tried to distort the voice as much as we can. We do not want this person to get any hate. Two wrongs do not make a right. 
we do believe maybe they're uneducated we hope to believe that um mm -hmm. but we are not putting this video out for any reason of spite we just think we have an audience and we get a lot of questions especially on tiktok like why do you need pride month mm -hmm. and we experience this so we're like well, do you know what we're going to show you this is why we need pride month yeah this happens not just to us it's happened to so many people there are so many stories out there like things way way worse than what we are showing you and it is just it's not fair it's not right mm. and people just need to realize that this does happen and this does go on and using the word and your lesbians too at the end of like an altercation is just mm. it was it was said as in a way like a derogatory mm. way as in like that was an, a, another reason why they didn't like us yeah. because we are lesbians not just like stating the fact <laughs> it was like men in yeah. a bad way and then to also use like our disabilities our mental health against us saying where's the nearest mental, mental health hospital because you look like you should be in it like it's just unnecessary and it just makes you feel very uncomfortable for a long time we were to be honest, we went through a lot of different stages. When it first happened, we were very upset. We were very anxious. Very, um, very anxious. Yeah, very, very anxious. Kind of like worried to leave our house because obviously we didn't want to, it to happen again or it yeah. to, you know, like anything like this to happen. And then we went through a stage of anger. Like we were angry that people even think like this now. Mm. Like we are in 2021. Yeah. Like how can you still be so closed minded? Like, love is literally love. Why does it matter if we love girls, if we love boys? Like, why does it matter mm. who anybody loves? Like, it's and, no one's yeah. business. And the reason why it's taken us this long to tell you guys is mm. because we phoned the police and the police were really helpful. They said it was a hate crime. Um, mm. They spoke to these people in question. And, and it's, it's been dealt with. It's been dealt with. Obviously, mm. legally, now it's finished. That is why we are now sharing it with you. And we're literally sharing it to spread awareness because it's just... So, despite what happened, it hasn't changed us. We are still completely besotted with each other. We <laughs> yes. Are. We're proud to be who we are. Mm -hmm. Like that can't change. And we're never going to stop advocating for people in our community either and yeah. for ourselves because it's needed. Clearly, it's needed. And it's sad that it's even needed. So, we just want to say if you've experienced any hate mm -hmm. or anything like that, we are so sorry. But what we were thinking of doing is if anyone who is watching this and you're interested, we might make a video um, with different clips from you guys explaining anything you've experienced just to bring the wider community involved and to show people that mm. it's not okay and that it in 2021 it still does occur. So having said that, if any of you guys want to send in a video to our Instagrams explaining what's happened to you then feel free to do so mm -hmm. but please remember it will be on youtube so if you don't want it on youtube but you just want to tell your story to us that is completely okay mm, just let us know just let us know although this wasn't our usual content um we hope it has opened your minds or it has you know made you realize what goes on we're so thankful and lucky that it didn't go any further and that it hopefully will not go any further because trigger warning people have been through things so so bad there have been people that have been badly 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 hurt to the point that their life has been lost um just so so many awful things it's just we are very lucky and we're very grateful and we're glad that we have an audience to like share this to to bring awareness to the subject and we are extremely lucky to have family that support mm. us and yeah as not everybody does so we hope you guys got something from this video mm -hmm. um we just want to say like we are okay i don't want anyone worrying we yes, both don't we are both perfectly fine we are yeah definitely definitely fine but yeah thank you so much for watching and we'll see you with our regular content next sunday yes we love you lots and we are so grateful for each and every one of you. Bye, Bye. guys!